guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Free Flyknit Mercurial sneakers. Now inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. So let me get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what essentially is a sneaker variation of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 soccer cleat. Now this is a shoe that is not a new release. Nike has released this shoe in prior colorways in very, very limited quantities that were next to impossible to get a hold of. So this is technically the first general release colorway that we've seen that I think looks really good. It's a very cool shoe. You guys have been asking to see it on the channel. So again, while it's technically a sneaker, not an actual soccer shoe, I figured it was relevant and enough of you guys would want to see it. Now, if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself in this exact colorway, like I said, it's a general release, but they seem to be pretty limited and people really want them, so they're selling out quite quickly. So if you do want a pair, if you check out the review page on my website, which will be the very first link down below in the description, there will be buy it now links for this particular shoe in this exact colorway, again, while supplies last. So if you do want a pair, the retail price is $200 US, and if you click that first link below, you will find a place where they actually have these things in stock. As far as what we're gonna cover in today's video, we're of course going to take a closer look at the shoe. I'm gonna talk about the functionality because I know a lot of you guys will be wondering if you can use this as a soccer shoe. That's something we're gonna talk about. We're gonna take a look at how these things fit and feel on feet and essentially cover everything you would want to know about the Nike Free Flyknit Mercurial. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire video. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. So to start things off, let me answer the one question that I know a lot of you guys will ask. Can I use these as soccer shoes? And the answer to that question is yes, you can, but ultimately I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. And I'm gonna explain why right now. Now the upper, as you guys can see, is inspired by the Superfly 4, and then it does have the Nike Free 5.0 bottom. So for use as an indoor shoe, this 5.0 bottom is kind of the first thing that probably isn't gonna be the greatest as far as indoor soccer is concerned, just because there's pretty much no rubber on the outsole. It's pretty much all exposed foam with a little bit of rubber at the tip of the toe and a little bit of rubber at the back of the heel. So as far as traction is concerned, on an indoor court, especially if it's a little bit dusty, you're gonna have none whatsoever. As far as the upper goes, I actually have a regular Superfly 4 right here, just so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. They're very different shapes. The regular Superfly 4 is a tight-fitting, performance-oriented soccer shoe, which is very responsive, locks your foot in place, and holds it there quite nicely when you pull the laces tight. With this particular Superfly, it still does feature a Flyknit construction, but it pretty much has no structure to it whatsoever. It's left with no kind of reinforcement on the outside, none of the reinforcements that you would normally find on the inside of the Superfly 4. And as you guys can see by the shape, they are significantly wider. Because again, this is not a performance oriented sneaker. They're purely designed for comfort and casual wear. So they don't need to fit super tight. The only real performance element that carries over from the regular Superfly into this particular sneaker are the Flywire cables that you can see are positioned in all the same spots as a regular pair of Superflies. But again, it's such a minimal element in the grand scheme of things that at the end of the day, the Flywire is there just to kind of maintain similar design elements to that of the Superfly and not necessarily something that was intended as a performance feature. So just keep that in mind. The third thing you have to really consider with this shoe when it comes to actual performance is uh, the durability. Because this shoe does not have a Nike skin covering on the surface of the upper, uh, the upper is gonna get dirty really quickly. So if you wanna kick the ball around in your $200 sneakers, especially in a light color like this, they're gonna get dirty super fast and it's just gonna be very difficult to clean, if not impossible. And and two, because you don't have that covering, it's a knitted upper, so it's quite likely to snag on concrete or even on a ball that has some rough edges on it. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you do plan on buying these, sure, you can kick the ball around, you can juggle the ball if you really wanted to, but buying these as dedicated indoor soccer shoes is certainly something that I would not recommend. You're much better off going for a pair of Mercurial X Proximo indoor shoes that are essentially Superfly 4 uppers on an indoor bottom made specifically for indoor soccer. They're also $50 cheaper than these guys. And like I said, as a performance product, a much better option, but as a casual wear shoe, these are pretty neat. Um, as far as the actual colorway is concerned, this is kind of the first of what I assume will be many different colorways of this particular shoe. The list of colors are as follow are as follows. You have pure platinum, which is kind of the gray color that you see within the actual fly knit. You have Summit White, which of course you see in the outsole, also within the Flyknit variation. Uh, there is 
uh, dark gray, which again, clear to see in the fly knit. And then of course you have uh, obsidian, which is the navy blue color that you see through the heel on the side and front of the actual collar with the pull tabs. And then of course in the laces themselves along with the paint splatter there on the outsole. So the fly knit pattern, not identical to what you're gonna find on the Superfly, but it does uh, look quite similar side by side. And it's cool that they didn't put the Nike skin covering on top. So you get to see the actual fly knit material itself, which is very cool. It's also much softer because you don't have any of the reinforcement on the outside or the inside of the shoe. So it really does feel like a pair of socks on your feet, which is great as far as comfort is concerned. Uh, you're gonna find the Nike swoosh here um, that is fused on top. It's actually kind of like a light gray, almost translucent. You can see right through it as you guys can see, which looks cool. And again, common design element of the Superfly 4. Uh, you can see that you get to see the knitted uh, portion where the fly wire is within the actual upper itself. Laces through the middle, dark navy blue laces, the top of the foot area, as well as the collar. It's kind of like a solid, very, very light gray color, almost has like a bluish tint to it, I would say. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as the upper is concerned. You're gonna find that at the heel, you have uh, a nice kind of really premium feeling and premium looking uh, navy blue uh, kind of leather material with double stitching going across the top. You have the embossed Nike swoosh right there on the medial side, nothing on the lateral side. The leather continues up the back of the collar as you guys can see, and then continues onto the inside as well, which also lines the heel of the shoe. So it has a very premium feel on your feet. These don't feel cheap whatsoever, despite being a knitted upper, which people might argue isn't quite as premium as leather, but like I said, they feel really, really good when you actually put them on. You have the pull tab at the back as well as the pull tab on the front with the Nike swoosh, which is a nice little addition. It kind of gives the shoe more of a casual wear look in my opinion. The insole is fully removable. It's also very, very premium. It features a navy blue leather lining, which looks absolutely fantastic. You have some perforations as you guys can see. And then of course, it's just made from a single layer of this black foam that isn't overly fancy, but it definitely does get the job done as far as comfort is concerned. And just this angle in general, just seeing the actual insole, it's significantly wider and just a completely different shape than the standard Superfly 4. So just keep that in mind. As far as the outsole is concerned, it is a Nike Free 5.0 outsole, white in color with the navy blue paint splatter along the edges. Um, the 5.0 outsole they've used here is actually from an older Nike Free line. So not what you're gonna find on the current Nike Freeze. Uh, but still very, very comfortable. Again, it's technically a running shoe bottom, so if you really wanted to run in these, I suppose you could. Again, I think you have better options in the current Nike Free lineup for a lot less money if you want a dedicated running shoe, but again, if you wanted to run in these, you absolutely could. And then like I explained, all foam on the bottom except for the tip of the toe and the back of the heel where you're just gonna find a little bit of rubber in kind of the high wear zone. So that's pretty much it in terms of what this shoe is all about. Very good looking shoe, very, very comfortable to wear. And again, if you're looking for a, a casual wear shoe that has the appearance of a Superfly 4, this particular sneaker is definitely what you want. Since this is a casual wear shoe, the weight isn't really all that important a factor, but I figured enough of you guys would ask, so I'm gonna weigh them for you in real time using this scale. So keep in mind, this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. We're gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 9.45 ounces the equivalent of 268 grams. So unsurprisingly, they aren't as light as the actual Superfly 4. In fact, they're actually quite a bit heavier, but as far as casual wear shoes go, 9.4 ounces, pretty lightweight. They don't feel heavy on your feet by any means. And ultimately, it's a very comfortable shoe to wear, which is probably the most important aspect of any casual wear sneaker at the end of the day. All right, so here is a look at the free fly knit mercurials on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock navy blue laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of junior length steel gray reflective SR4U replacement laces. The main reason why I went with junior length is just because they're a little bit shorter. And as you guys can see, when you actually tie them up versus the stock laces, you're left with a lot less slack at the end, which I personally just think looks a little bit cleaner. But nonetheless, if you guys are interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, you can use them on soccer shoes, you can use them on sneakers like I have right now. They are available at www.sr4ulaces.com. You find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now in terms of how these things fit and feel, they're very, very comfortable. Again, nothing like a regular pair of Superfly 4s. It has that Nike free bottom, which 
has the feel of a pair of Nike Freeze. They're certainly a lot wider than a regular pair of Superflies to the point where I'd say these things will fit just about everybody. Despite having flywire cables on the lateral and medial side of the shoe, the actual midfoot area, the base, is significantly wider. So if you've worn Nike Freeze before, which most people have, you'll feel right at home with how these things fit and feel on your feet. The uh, flyknit upper is stretchy, so like I said, they feel like a pair of kind of slightly snug fitting socks, but certainly not tight by any means. Like I said, they'll be suitable for just about any foot type. And as far as sizing is concerned, they run true to size. I'm wearing my usual size nine and a half, which is what I normally wear in sneakers. And the fit in length is absolutely perfect. As far as the overall appearance of the shoe is concerned, these mid cut sneakers from Nike, especially the ones with the collar like this, they're a little bit strange. I'm not really sure how I feel about them for casual wear. I think it's a cool looking shoe off feet but on feet it's something that i don't know it's very futuristic looking i think that's the best way to describe it so i'm wearing them with shorts right now i'm not sure you would want to wear socks longer than these things while wearing them with shorts again that's kind of down to personal preference when it comes to wearing anything casually but this is probably how i would wear them i suppose you could wear them with pants as well and cover up the collar altogether although that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing but nonetheless it's one of those shoes that I think most people who like the Superfly 4 and are soccer cleat enthusiasts will think they're cool, but as far as actually wearing them is concerned, it's definitely an acquired taste. So let me know what you guys think of these things on feet. Do you like how they look? Why or why not? Would you actually wear them? Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. And with that being said, I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Nike Free Flying at Mercurials. Again, if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you'll find high quality images of this exact pair. They'll give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding this particular shoe, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.